Uh, Weather-wise, oh, the sunshine was sweet today, even if it was noticeably cooler than what we had yesterday. So mid-70s yesterday, mid-50s today. A big change, but it was still a pretty day. High thin clouds have started to stream in, so that's what's giving the sky kind of a milky look to it in the Gallatin area. Mid-50s there. Most of us are in the mid to upper 50s. Hanging on to some blue sky over in Cookville, uh, Putnam County. You had a lot of sunshine around today. So again, I hope you soaked it up. It has been a big change as far as the mercury goes. We're 16 degrees cooler right now than we were this time yesterday. We don't have any more big blasts as far as the temperature goes, but we are making a pretty big change from dry, mostly dry weather. We had that quick splash of rain last night to a prolonged wet pattern and the clouds associated with this pattern shift are already streaming in to West Tennessee. So these will stream over us tonight. Taking a look at the power five radars. It looks like some raindrops are making it to the ground over in Benton County, but they're not. They're evaporating for now. Once we get past midnight tonight, we will start to see showers, especially for areas south of I-40. This is a long four day long setup for wet weather. There will be pockets where the rain is heavier than other times. So the shortest version I can tell you is be ready for on and off rain for four days. I'm going to pinpoint the time frames that will be the heaviest though as well to hopefully help you plan your weekend. So rain chances tonight, they don't really start in Nashville until midnight, but they ramp up steadily as we head towards daybreak. Friday's rain is going to come primarily in two batches. One that will start overnight tonight and continue through the morning hours. Most of it impacting folks south of I-40, although we'll have a few showers to the north. Then there'll be somewhat of a lull in the afternoon, not bone dry, but perhaps even a ray of sunshine coming through. The second push of heavy rain Friday comes late Friday night into the overnight hours of Saturday, and there is the potential for a couple thunderstorms with this. Our severe threat is very, very low. If any of the storms Friday night were to be strong or severe, straight line wind, potentially even some small hail would be our biggest concern. I'll talk more about that at five. For now, the bigger concern is the rainfall. We're still looking at three to five inches, potentially even six inches as we head towards Monday with the heaviest falling Sunday. And since we're already going to have rain Friday and Saturday, that means the ground will be saturated. So as far as any flooding concerns on Sunday, we would be looking at that potential of additional heavy rain with that runoff causing streams and creeks to rise. Like I said, it's a lot to break down. We'll do it in more detail at five.